Jacinda, since the day I realized what a soulmate was, I've been searching for you. I've been bruised, bent, and broken by my travels to find you. I never felt enough, worthwhile, or complete. And I found you. Eric, it's hard to believe this day has finally arrived. We've been counting down these days on our whiteboard for months, and today is the day we have been looking forward to. We have come together in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Eric and Jacinda and to rejoice with them. Marriage is a gift of God and a means of God's grace in which man and woman become one flesh. It is God's purpose that as husband and wife give themselves to each other in love, they shall grow together to care for each other in good times and in bad. I've known Jacinda since our freshman orientation at Concordia University. We were sitting in chapel when Cindy, over here, decided it would be a great idea to introduce Jacinda and I, and essentially forced us to be friends because we were being shy four-year-olds who couldn't make friends on our own. Honestly, Cindy, bad idea. It clearly hasn't worked. Jacinda, over all these years that I've known you, I have learned that you are so incredibly patient. You are the sweetest person. Oh my God, guys, I've been crying all day. <laughs> I've ever met, and you have always been there for me whenever I need you. Oh, gross tears. <laughs> you have become my very best friend, and I love you. I remember us hanging out in kindergarten. I remember us hanging out in Chicago before we moved to the suburbs. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's just an incredible thing to know someone like Eric for my entire life. Knowing that I was, I'm his best friend and he's mine, I knew that I was gonna be his best man, but when he asked me, it's truly just a, a humbling and honoring experience. Um, Eric is one of the best men that I know, and he is in my undying love and respect. He's driven, lo loving, honest, and loyal to a fault. And I would do whatever I can to help him just because he's such a good person. I'm so grateful that you found Eric and for how much he loves you. I see the difference in you since you've been with him, and it's so obvious to me that you are feeling the way it should feel when someone has found their person. I'm so thankful that you'll be taking care of, supporting, and loving her for all these years to come. Before that moment I was lost and you showed me the way. Before that moment I was shattered and you healed me. Before that moment I did not believe in something as foolish as love at first sight. And you fit together like a last two pieces of a billion piece puzzle. Jacinda, you were this person to me. You were the missing piece of my puzzle. I thank God every day for the timing that he brought you into my life. I couldn't have known at the time how much I needed you, but looking back, it's nice to know that God knew exactly what he was doing by placing us together. Eric, I can't promise every day is gonna be perfect, but I can promise to always be by your side and support you. Jacinda, you are the love of my life, my all, and my everything. 
on top of all your wonderful tributes, you're the sexiest woman I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> Going forward, I know every day will be as good as it gets, because I'll have you by my side. I promise to bring you soup when you're sick and snuggle when you're stressed. I promise to fix your hair in the morning before big events and dance around like crazy to make you laugh. But the most important and hardest promise to keep, I promise not to leave clothes in the dryer for a week at a time. <laughs> it's tough, but I'll really try just for you. I promise to grow together and to grow old together. And when we reach the end of what will undoubtedly be a wildly crazy, fun adventure, I promise to thank you then for being in my life, for saving me, and for picking me. I'll remind you again that you were, are, and ever will be the best thing that ever happened to me. Eric, simply put, I love you. I can't imagine my life without you in it. You're my person, and I'm so thankful I found you. You're in my life, and I can now call you my husband. Here's to many, many laughter-filled years together as husband and wife. I'd like to introduce a new family, Mr. and Mrs. Eric and Jacinda Freeman. A toast is in order. I would like to honor the wedding that occurred today between Jacinda and Eric and wish them a prosperous, loving, and long marriage with us in their lives too, spending as much time together as possible. Cheers. The love that you two have is special and it, it, it truly is a beacon of hope for people in the world because you truly are so in love with each other. My parting advice to you guys is love each other, honor each other, respect each other. Eric, remember the phrase, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Jacinda, I'm so happy that Cindy forced friendship upon us all those years ago. <laughs> but not as happy as I am today knowing that you and Eric have found each other. I love you both so much, and I wish you nothing more than all the happiness that a life together can bring. I can't wait to see what your lives together have in store. All the babies, oh my god, I can't wait. <laughs> Cheers to these wonderful people. I love you guys.